Yes. I think you guys would be cute together. Is she that girl that cried when giving her vice president speech? No, that was that was Jane. Uh, no, that was June. No, no. Uh, what's her name? Yeah, she 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 gave her vice president speech, but instead of vice president, she said rice president, and then she just automatically burst into tears. Oh. <laughs> it's a uh, pretty uh cold outside. Yeah. Oh, sorry, come in. This is um a, a room. So this is where the um the the the, the, the magic happens. <laughs> no. You got a cool uh what's that thing? I don't know. Uh-huh. You know who I think you'd like? Dan. Is that the guy that got in the big fight with that other guy? Who? I don't know. Yeah, I think that was him. I don't think I've ever spoken to him. Blitz! I have no idea what's happening. That's fine. Do you want to watch a movie? No, I hate movies. Okay, do you want to watch a TV show? We can watch a movie. Okay, what movie? This question is exactly what I fear. What? Have you seen The Kissing Booth? I think it'd be fun. No, it's weird. Why would I go on a date with a total stranger? Okay, who would you rather go out with? I don't know, somebody I like? You don't like anybody! Damn it, you're right. I lied. Huh? I do like movies. Oh. But I don't like this one. What? Then why are we watching it? I, I don't know. Like, I watched it with my friends and, like, we liked it, but we made fun of it. Definitely is not very good. Yeah, but you seem so opposed to talking to me. I didn't want to not talk to you. I just didn't want to make fun of what I thought was your favorite movie. Well, there's something kind of charming about it. I mean, like, we're expected to root for these characters just because the movie says they should get together. Yeah, and I'll be super sad if they don't. Yeah, and there's, like, no consequences. Like, at the end of the day, they're still stupid rich and throw big parties all the time. I, yeah, I want to see Netflix make a teen rom-com about a boy and a girl who live in, like, butt-shit New Hampshire and have seasonal affective disorder. <laughs> yeah, and, like, they have chemistry and stuff, but they just hate each other. Or fate keeps pushing them together, and they're like, fate, you don't really have to do that. And the whole conclusion is like, yeah, I really like her, but I just don't feel like leaving the house right now. Yeah, I really like Manal, but his voice is weird, and I can't listen to him talk for more than five minutes. Yeah, and at the end they kiss, and that's when it becomes a gay coming-of-age story. Perfect ending. Don't you think it's weird that you're the only one in your friend group who isn't dating anybody? What do you mean? I mean, you're always third wheeling with us. What's your whole deal with me and Dan anyway? I mean, you don't even have a boyfriend. Well, I asked Jasper out to lunch after school on Thursday. We were gonna go to Union on Thursday. We do that every day. Yeah, that's because it's our thing. You can't just piss all over our shit like that. If you don't want me to hang out with you guys, I don't have to. I mean, I do other things. I mean, like, yesterday I was, um... What did I do yesterday? God, you really need a boyfriend. You really need a girlfriend. Hey. That was alright, I mean, like, it was fun. A good time. It was kind of awkward, though. I mean, I, I really like her and stuff, but, uh... She kind of looks like me. 